Some arrogant MMA fans love to look down their noses on the entire practice of incest. But there are completely acceptable levels of inbreeding. The UFC is home to plenty of mixed race people like Justin Gaethje and Tom Aspinall. But did you also know it fills its ranks with some of the most inbred people on the face of the earth? We'll start out with the perfect example of an A-tier inbred UFC fighter. That is Islam Makachev. He's got those weird, vacant eyes. He laughs at like childish things. He loves to bully fat people. He mouth breathes constantly. Bullies DC for being a fatty. Come on. Perfect A-tier inbred. Definitely kind of peak Caucasus Mountains endogamy. B tier, Marab. A lot of you probably came here to see where I put him. I've already made a video on how inbred Marab is. He is the perfect level of inbreeding. He's not the only one. You can watch that video. I won't go too much into Marab. But yeah, perfect representative of the B tier inbred UFC fighter. We'll move down to uh, C tier. DDP, Drickus Duplass C. If you've noticed anything about Boers, Afrikaners, whatever you want to call them, uh, white South Africans, specifically those who've been there for a, any decent amount of time, they are inbred. It's not the greatest level of inbreeding. It's not at Georgian tier inbreeding. And it sure as heck isn't uh, Dagestani inbreeding levels. But they've all got that like flat head, same cheekbones, very similar hair colors. You know, that is an inbred population. Obvious reasons. Don't need to explain it too much. We can just throw another C tier up here so we don't waste any time. Cameron Simon. All right, a D tier representative of inbred UFC fighters has to be Demir Ismagulov. Undeniably inbred, but to the point, I wouldn't enjoy it. He's constantly twitching. Yeah, just a poor, poor combo of uh, genes there. Got another one here. Arnold the Swamp Monster Allen. He is so fucking inbred. And people don't talk about this enough. Guy's on a whole nother level of inbreeding. He is the English version of Islam Makhachev. He comes from that like Ipswich, East Anglia area of England. That part of the island was cut off from like the rest of the island with big marshes and like floodplains and stuff from thousands of years. It only got drained, I think, in like the 17, 1800s. Those people just sit in the same village breeding with the same people it might not be their cousin it's their cousin so arnold allen he's got those eyes he's got that kind of pale translucent inbred skin he's not able to string together a sentence we know that all love to arnold he's a great fighter um he has rages in clubs if you didn't know this about arnold allen he'll get drunk and just attack oompa loompas little orange people but he doesn't he's not aware of that he probably thinks they're like some mythical swamp beast that's attacking his girlfriend. So anyway, very, very inbred. Don't need to drag that one out. Khabib Nurmagomedov. Don't really need to say much. He is at a very good level of inbreeding. Same with Marab. That, the combination of genes he has got from his ancestors has benefited him in every possible way. He's an extremely financially successful individual, extremely successful in his sports career, regardless of your opinion about him. I'm not going to slander Khabib. I think his parents, cousin parents, whatever you want to call them, made the right call. Let's move right on down to C tier. Once again, Vittori, Marvin Vittori, Orc Tori. I don't know. This one almost should be in D tier. But his chin is so good that it makes up for the other negative effects of his inbreeding. I don't think I need to say too much about Vittori. I mean, putting on those shorts backwards, the way he talks, mm, his fight IQ... He definitely would be a D-tier inbred if it was not for that unbelievable chin. So, let's go down to D-tier. Stipe Miocic. A lot of you guys would be like, oh, what's he doing on this list? An American. Uncommon to see an American on this list. Well, we'll get to a couple more. And he's got to have some inbreeding. I don't know much about this. I can't prove anything. No one talks about like that without a decently high level of inbreeding. All right. A-tier once again. Tagir Ulumbekov. Just look at the guy. What do I need to say about him? You know what I mean? Have a good look. Let's move on to beats here. Umar Nurmagomedov. Can't say too much more about him that I can't say about Khabib. Very good inbred genes. 
Um, probably from very similar stock to Khabib. I'd love to do a genetic test on the two of them. But, yeah, we won't beat a Dagestan inbreeding horse with a stick for too long. Let's go right down the C tier again. Israel Adesanya. Yes, he is inbred. He comes from that type of aristocratic stock from Nigeria, hence his like ridiculous height and the very fine pronounced features. No pause. You know what I mean. There are very big differences between a man like Israel Adesanya and the breeding that for generations has gone on to create him. And then a man like Kamaru Usman, his knees are falling out, he's short, he's bald. Okay, D tier. Verna Genderoba. Ho, ho, ho. All right, A tier. Once again, Dustin Swamp Trash Poirier. I love DP. He's actually one of my favorite fighters. He used to be my favorite fighter. He's part of the reason I ever became like a big fan of the sport. It's Dustin Poirier. He's so inbred. He is so inbred. Dude, those Louisiana small town guys, like everything I was saying about Arnold Allen, pretty well goes for DP as well. Let's go back down to B tier. Mano Cap. Once again, perfect level of inbreeding. You guys are starting to notice something about B tier here, common thread. Comes from old stock warrior genes from the honor guard of a queen of Angola from like the 1600s or something like that. The first queen to convert to Christianity in Angola. He remembers his genes. He's proud of it. His family has always remembered his ancestors, honored them. Uh, you're not going to see him doing anything but having kids with someone with a very similar stock to him. Man, no cap. Keep it going. You're doing everything great. We love you. Can't wait to see you smash KKF's head in. Let's go. All right. Armin Sarukian, another Caucasus boy. The Armenians are not quite at the same level, and this isn't a good thing, as the Georgians or some of the Dags. Obviously, undoubtedly, there's inbreeding going on in those mountain ranges, no matter where you step foot. But it seems like the Armenians have not done it in the same, to the same levels of success that uh, some of the other cultural groups there have done. But I will say, we can just throw up a couple here, because I don't have too much more to say about like Armin Petrosian. Another example of the Armenians' level of inbreeding. Decent levels, not great, not awful. Drop down to uh, D tier. TKZ, oh, an inbred Korean? Yes. They all are, pretty much. Korea is wild. They, like, throw cabbage at Indian people on the buses and stuff like that. That guy who was in Squid Games, that Indian guy in Squid Games, was like, I was on a bus in Korea and some old lady just walked up in front of me and started taking cabbage out of her... Uh, grocery bags and started throwing the cabbage at this guy and saying the bus is for Koreans only. But it doesn't seem like the inbreeding has really benefited TKZ much beyond his uh, ability to take damage. Similar to Vittori, but not quite at that level. Has to land him in D tier. All right. The last A tier inbred I have for you guys. Bryce Mitchell. A good old-fashioned... American, inbred. I love it. We all love it. It just is a bit too much, okay? His parents should have taken into account that if they wanted him to be a champ, they need to bring those levels down just a bit to the Nurmagomedov, the Wallish Wheelie levels. The last B tier I have for you guys, Hamza Chimeyev. Yeah, he's got that Caucasus inbreeding in him. He's got the hair lip. He's got the anger issues. He's got the explosive, fast twitch muscles. Pretty solid, good combo of inbreeding genes where the negative inbreeding traits are outweighed by how good his positive inbreeding traits are. You know what I mean? He's not like a balanced specimen like Marab or Khabib or Umar or even Men Al Cap, but he is balanced through the extremes. All right, C tier. I got a couple more. We'll just throw them both in here. Giga Chikadze, a Georgian, didn't quite benefit in the same way from his ancestors' choices as Marab did. But not everyone can be Marab. All right? 
And Roman Delice, another Georgian who didn't quite benefit from the inbreeding. Anyway, the last couple D tier. Nasruddin Imavov, a prime example of a Caucasian fighter who has not reaped the benefits of cousin marriage. I don't know if it was being raised in France or what. Environment can play a big part in these things, I would assume. He just sucks. He just sucks. And Blagoy Ivanov. Holy shit. He has to smell like pure shit. And that's like the only thing he seems to have got out of the incest. So, yeah. Just look at him. He has to smell like shit. All right, you've all been waiting for the S tier. Who is it going to be? It's Jimmy Crew. He is so fucking inbred. Guy can't even stand on his own two feet. He's wobbling all over the place. He looks like that monster from the Goonies before he even gets into the octagon and takes a single punch. I mean, just look at him. He's at an unbelievable level of inbreeding, which is honestly impressive because Australia, very new population and fairly transient, you know, moving around, obviously, from the British Isles, uh, for the most part, to Australia, and then obviously moving around probably within there as typical colonists would. Wild that he hit these levels in such a short period of time. I'm thinking he must have came, his ancestors must have already been at very high levels of inbreeding in England or wherever they came from. Something about the Australian sun really just put it into overdrive. Jimmy needs to be tested. This is, of course, not a complete list of inbred UFC fighters at all. Not even close. I could legitimately do every UFC fighter on the roster, every ranked fighter, every unranked fighter, and rank them by their inbreed, and that would be a ridiculous video. What I'm thinking maybe I could do is rank the ranked fighters in each division by their levels of inbreeding, make it a little series. Um, you know, heavyweight inbreeding, light heavyweight inbreeding, middleweight inbreeding um, of the ranked fighters, maybe some honorable mentions from guys uh, hanging outside the rankings. Let me know if you guys like that idea in the comments below. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.